show my picture to everyone who follows me and let them decide whether to like or comment on it. Instagram and I are not friends anymore. This is my main account. If you wanna follow it, it's just cristiano.gio. But actually, you know what, don't even bother. Instagram, Instagram is pissing me off. Today we're talking about Instagram as an app for creators and my opinion on the direction they're going and why I think it's not good. Now for the past few years, Instagram has just not been it. A lot of people have been converting their content creation over to TikTok because that platform allows for smaller creators to grow. Now because of the rapid growth of TikTok, Instagram has also tried to get into that video making game by making reels. Now Instagram reels are fine and they're actually great for photographers, but what Instagram is failing to understand is that a lot of people are not video creators and people don't really use Instagram Instagram for video purposes. So people still wanna post like their main pictures and stuff on Instagram. But now the problem is posting a picture on Instagram, not only rarely do you get any new followers, Instagram barely shows it to your own followers. So let's look at some numbers, bro. Let's look at some scary ass numbers. Now I know I'm not the only one. I see people post about this all the time, uh, about how you know their impressions are way lower than their follower count. And they're like, you know, what's even the point of having followers? Here's one of my most recent pictures I posted, and it's pretty much at the point where it's not really getting any new likes, so I think it's pretty mature. I have 949 followers as of right now, and looking at the overview of this post, this post reached 285 people in total. Out of those 900 whatever, only 200, it reached only 285 people. And out of those 285 people, 277 of them are my followers and eight of them are non-followers. So here's the issue with all this. First of all, 285 is such a small percentage of my over 900 followers and that is just horrible. This stems down to their algorithm change which basically prioritizes what Instagram thinks people wanna actually see. Sorry if I'm shaking, you're on my table. Now, when you post a picture to Instagram now, Instagram shows it to a portion of your followers that interact a lot with your content. And depending how they react, uh, whether they like it, comment on it, you know, save it, bookmarking and saving that stuff is actually really important. Depending how they react to it, if they react well, then Instagram is gonna show it to more people and then more people and then more people. Now, a lot of platforms work like this. YouTube works the same way. The thing is, YouTube won't hide it from your subscribers. Instagram is basically hiding your posts from your followers. If their selected amount of followers of yours don't interact really well with it. Now this pretty much all started to happen once feed was no longer chronological and I think that was really the downfall of Instagram. And oh my God, is it frustrating. Huh. <sighs> You know, you're, it's at the point where like, I don't even feel like posting pictures on Instagram anymore because not even the followers that I've gained over time uh, get to see it. And you don't really get any new followers from it. The explore page is mainly reels and accounts that are already big. So trying to grow on Instagram by posting pictures is pretty much useless. Now onto the next metric. Eight of the people were non-followers. So basically eight people in the world saw this picture who weren't my followers. And I guess they didn't interact well with it because the picture didn't get a lot of, uh, you know, new people. And I guess Instagram was just like, you know, not a lot of people want to see this. And I, I guess, okay, maybe the picture wasn't that great. But this is pretty much every picture I post. And it just sucks because I'm also posting reels. Now reels on Instagram do really well for photographer type of content and that's awesome. And I gain followers and likes and interaction from new people. But the problem is none of these new people are actually getting exposed to my photos that I actually post uh, because I've gained a good amount of followers actually from posting reels, but I haven't seen any increase in my likes. Uh, and I know the, the followers I gotten from the reels, yeah, some of them are bots. Uh, I can tell by just checking the account, but a good portion of them are actual photographers. And I'm like, yo, this is sick. Uh, they fuck with my, sorry, they like my photography and you know, maybe they're, they're obviously gonna like my pictures now. Not at all. There has not really been an increase in impressions or likes or anything since my Instagram account has gotten new followers from reels. So Instagram, is at a weird place right now because I'm spending way more time on TikTok than Instagram, which is cool for video stuff. But as a photographer, you know, it sucks. I can't even rely on this platform that has been, which has been the hub of my photography and a lot of the content I make. Now, I don't even know where to post pictures. I know a lot of people have been going towards Pinterest. Pinterest is growing, you know, as a photo sharing app because Instagram just 
ain't it, to be fair. I just haven't really gone into Pinterest that much and the UI isn't really one that I'm familiar with. Uh, and it's just frustrating, you know? Uh, Instagram, I think right now from the general point of view is being upheld by the fact that Instagram is still, you know, your, your business card. Regardless of the field you're in, when you meet someone new, they ask you, yo, what's your IG? Because your Instagram is, you know, it's still your portfolio, still uh, shows what type of person you are by the content you post. You can get some information about the person in their bio, which can link to other platforms. You can get a rough estimate of their success by their follower count, which, you know, is a very rough estimate. And, you know, everyone has it. So, Instagram right now is still, you know, your business card. Uh, you know, you can DM people to work, collaborate. It's still that engine for now, at least. But Instagram needs to make changes to their algorithm to bring it back to the way it was. Show my picture to everyone who follows me and let them decide whether to like or comment on it. Instagram's idea with all of this is to show your content to people who actually want to see it which I do understand. But Instagram is pretty much deciding for everyone what they actually wanna see. Because it also spreads to me, you know, as someone who still consumes photography and stuff, I don't even see posts from creators I like just because Instagram decided I don't like their stuff. And it may be because, you know, I didn't like one of their posts or something, or I haven't really commented on their pictures, but it doesn't mean I don't like it and I don't wanna see more of it. So this whole thing is just so frustrating and Instagram, I hope, you switch it up. I hope you bring it back to what it used to be because if you don't, I don't know how you're gonna keep this app going because I know a lot of people are switching over to TikTok um, and it's not the switch to TikTok because they're trying to get followers to bring back to their Instagram. I see people switching to TikTok to be TikTok creators. The whole phase of Instagram followers and all that is dying. Or just join YouTube. YouTube is fire. YouTube is the best platform, yo. So YouTube don't change much, okay? I like what you guys are doing. Uh, anyways, that's that's my run for today. Hopefully it was something you can relate to. Drop a comment down below what you think about the situation. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video, all right? Peace.